I'm Caroline. And I'm Blair. And today we're here at Sin Bun in the Salt City Test Kitchen. We're so excited because today we're actually going to be interviewing Jake and Brie Lestrina. They're the co-owners of Sin Bun, and they're actually like a married couple. So we're very excited to hear all about their story. Yes, they've got sweet and savory, so you'll get it all. Do you mind, mind like introducing yourselves and letting us know just a little bit about your business? Sure, I'm Brie Lestrina. I'm Jake Lestrina. Uh, we're the co-owners of Sinbun. Uh, Sinbun is a savory take on a sweet classic. We take the traditional cinnamon roll and we substitute the filling for different variations, both sweet and savory ingredients. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love that. Yeah, okay. we were doing a lot of research about you guys online mm -hmm. and we were just so fascinated by this concept. Um, so can you walk us through how exactly you came up with it? Yeah, uh, it is a new concept. So as far as we know, it's never been done. Um, but really, it stemmed from our past work history. Um, I worked for Hershey, kind of on the sweet side. Oh, okay. um, oh my gosh. Bringing okay. new products to grocery and mm -hmm. kind of finding new segments of that market that haven't been developed. Uh, Brie worked at Johnson Wales Innovation Hub, working on kind of the savory side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And merging that with a conversation around the holidays and cinnamon buns and traditions, uh, we were like, cinnamon buns are kind of stale. It hasn't been, there hasn't been any innovation around mm -hmm. it. Um, and then we just came up with the, the concept of that. Yeah, and we're both big cooks. We love to cook. Um, so we, yeah, we are very competitive and uh, we took our love for innovation and food and uh, made the Sin Bun concept come to life. Mm -hmm. oh, I just love the fact that you brought the sweet and you brought the savory yeah. and now you guys have combined it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now what we noticed was your buns are very, very large and they're supposed to feed two people. Do you think it's the size of it or the actual like texture of it that you think makes it so filling? Um, so we like jam pack the fillings with <laughs> uh, like over the top ingredients. We top them off their uh, large portions. Uh, so I, I think like a little bit of both, yeah. Mm -hmm. We use quality ingredients um, and everything's made fresh every day. Yeah, it's a fork and egg. You definitely yeah. need a fork and egg. <laughs> yeah. um, We're trying to replace like your burger or like a uh, yeah. sandwich. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So that is our position, like uh, especially SU students going out for like fries, wings, burgers, calzones. Uh, this is a full meal, especially like our steak and cheese bun or chicken bacon ranch bun. It is that meal substitute. So they're they're big. <laughs> they looked big. Yeah, great. <laughs> now you guys have lots of flavors. Do you guys have a favorite one? Yes. <laughs> uh, personally, well, actually, Libby. Uh, we can bring some up. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh, bring some oh out. my gosh! Uh, perfect uh, timing, some, Caroline. Yeah, perfect timing. <laughs> uh, uh, so my. Oh wow. This looks delightful. Yeah, so my first, my newest favorite. I'm so thrilled. I'm actually on the sweeter side, so we have a build your own bun. Okay. So that is oh. working off of the base of like our classic. Mm -hmm. um, but really, it's a uh, you create a bun as unique as you are. That's what we say. But yeah. there's well, endless like options, it. endless combinations, so you mm -hmm. can make it exactly how you want. I right. think uh, the cinnamon dulce mm -hmm. that we make in house that is a really great add on for any classic bun. Uh, my personal favorite is obviously on the savory side, <laughs> um, and that would be our BLT bun. It, we make a in house um, aioli, which is oh my like, gosh, you know, like tangy and uh, mm -hmm. so good. Yeah, y'all have to order that BLT bun. I was looking at it online, and I was like, oh, this just sounds <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> oh my gosh, should we try one? I think we should. Oh my gosh. Wait, so oh, can you tell us a little bit about um, these two buns? Yeah. yeah. So that is the build your own bun that Jake just uh, mentioned. This one, mm -hmm. uh, it looks like, I told them to get creative. So it looks like they did uh, crushed M&Ms and maybe some coffee cake crumble. Uh, oh, drizzled wow. with vanilla and uh, chocolate sauce. And then that is our uh, classic bun. So right. your traditional uh, cinnamon and vanilla icing. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, I actually can't look away from them. Yeah, like, these are beautiful. <laughs> they are Thank you. beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Our More buns. Savory buns. Wow. Well. Yeah. That's that is uh, stunning. Chicken bacon ranch and mm -hmm. our build your own pizza bun. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is so smart of you guys to have, like, the same dough for both sweet mm -hmm. and savory. Because yeah. then, like, I feel like it just creates, um, everyone, like, knows, like, you're having, you're having a sin bun. Yeah. <laughs> right. Regardless. Right. Yeah. It's the same dough, uh, but the fillings are different. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's kind of what also separates us from other cinnamon bun 
companies, uh, they'll typically just stick with one filling, like cinnamon sugar, and then just do toppings. But we're rolling up like cookie dough, uh, mm -hmm. chocolate crumble, all different fillings inside as well. Yeah. And do, uh, do you guys ever get asked if there's like, um, like, like sugar inside of like your more savory Ooh. options? Because we noticed that was yeah. really big yeah. on your website. Yeah, <laughs> we are trying to make that known to everyone. Um, I think when an article came out saying that we made a cinnamon bun savory, people were like, ew, that's disgusting. But <laughs> we are trying to communicate. There is no cinnamon inside this pizza bun here um, and no cinnamon in our cookies and cream bun or our chocolate chip cookie bun either. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right, now who else do you have working here? How big is your staff? and how big would you like to expand it in the future? So we have three amazing employees right now. Mm -hmm. um, they're part-time, um, and just because we're only open three days a week right now, Friday through Sundays. Um, but we hope to expand, um, I think, once we move into our new space, we'll, we'll try like a four or five day being open and growing our team to probably double what we have. Um, and then hopefully by the end of the year or next year, we'll be open every day with, you know, 20, 30 plus staff would be great. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. That's great. Yeah. Um, and so I know we were talking to Jake a little bit earlier about um, the like holiday specials you guys did. So can you walk us through some of your more like rotating um, orders and just kind of like how long you keep on the menu for? Well, we're telling people right now we're in like a test phase. So Ooh, okay. um, while we're here in the test kitchen, uh, we want to learn as much as we can from our consumers, uh, what people like as far as like flavor combinations. So we're very active um, on social media and we have a very engaged audience. So we'll literally put out a post saying like, what do you guys want? <laughs> um, and uh, we have the, um, being so small, we have the flexibility to quickly roll out new flavors. I think um, when we were developing our menu for launching, we wanted to keep it pretty um, standard and traditional, like American, you know, flavor combinations like a steak and cheese or mm. pizza that um, people would understand because the concept was so new. Mm. Um, but now that, um, you know, people know about us a little bit more, we definitely want to come out with some more innovative flavors. So actually, for example, we have our Reuben bun for uh, the oh. month of March. Uh, so that's, uh, yeah, your corned beef, sauerkraut, <laughs> and a house made uh, Thousand Islands. So we want to start doing some more um, uh, non-traditional flavors. Mm -hmm. So we've talked about like a taco bun, um, oh. getting oh back to like, yeah, cuisines in there. Good. Yeah, we are obsessed with innovation. That's probably like my true passion. So we're coming out um, with bun bites. Um, we have yeah, oh, they're that uh, sounds, we're both just yeah. So that sounds yeah. so good. So, you know what it is yet. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, we also have like a whole breakfast line in the works. Oh, so no. we'll eventually uh, be open for a breakfast. Um, and uh, yeah, I think the only thing I would add is like our hours. So we are we open at eleven, um, and we're open till nine p.m. So we do kind of okay. feel like brunch, mm -hmm. afternoon, lunch, dinner, and then like kind of post-dinner munchies or <laughs> yeah. late, late night food. Uh -huh. right. uh, yeah, and that's... Yeah, and we, write that uh, down. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Right, yeah. Uh, I think Jake may have already mentioned this, but um, delivery and pre-ordering on our site for pickup is definitely like the preferred method. Gotcha. We do accept walk-ins, um, but you are like chancing uh, us being sold out or like having to wait a little while because we do prioritize mm. the um, online orders. Yeah, it makes yeah. a lot of sense. And uh, what are your, um, the, the social media handle for? Yep, it's uh, at Eat Sin Bun. Okay, yep. on, on everything or? On everything, yeah. Oh, and then amazing. our website's at eatsinbun.com. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Well, Bray and Jake, thank you guys so much sure. for um, sure. allowing us Appreciate to come you. in yeah. and we are so excited to, to dive into, into all of this. Done a well, I like to call internship at Cafe Kubal just to get okay. oh. like behind uh, the counter experience. I mean, I I made sandwiches, mm -hmm. um, but I had never stepped into a kitchen other than that in my life. So um, it's been I've learned a lot, and it's been a great learning experience. How do you feel that that prepared you for this business? Um, I not much aside from. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, just kind of seeing how prep was done um, and like, you know, reading a ticket. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say, yeah, <laughs> yeah no, that one, um, we uh, just launched chips. yesterday. Yeah. Oh my, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Just yesterday. Here, I like one of the first people to eat this. It's so exciting. Mm -hmm. I am very happy to be one of the first people to be eating this right now. Yeah. I, I would have never imagined on like a, on like a bun you could put like corned beef hash. That's right, incredible. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cinnamon buns. Oh, yeah, totally lived right? up to the expectations. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't, I can't even get over how good those were. So I awesome. can only imagine what your like take on the classic is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So it is a uh, cream cheese icing. That's actually been oh. something that we've learned uh, during this test phase that um, people I, well, I guess like not everyone uses a cream cheese icing, which I did not know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'm really but excited. I wanted to get like really deep into it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I have always been like, you know, nothing can be like Auntie Anne's like the cinnamon twist there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the best cinnamon bun I've ever had in my life. Awesome. This is, uh, <laughs> Love to hear that. And I'm not just saying that because you yeah. guys are sitting right in front of me. <laughs> Isn't that? <laughs> I'm oh crying. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, this is the most delicious cinnamon bun I've ever had oh in my whole life. I'm sorry, I'm like actually like kind of speechless over here. Oh, <laughs> that just like it. blew me away. Oh. It has like that classic feel, but it also does have like that elevated dough that makes it just feel like something more than a cinnamon mm. bun. Right. Mm -hmm. I think the, the 24 hour, it, it's a long process, mm -hmm. um, but I think it's Oh. Just get that flavor, um, and our um, icing. We, I was very adamant about not making it like too sweet. I feel like yeah, the sweeter it gets, sometimes like the more artificial tasting mm -hmm. it might be. Um, and I think that it perfectly that like tanginess from the cream cheese like complements that sweetness of mm -hmm. the bun. Oh, it totally yeah. cuts through it really yeah. nicely. Because I feel like mm -hmm. sometimes if you have something like so big like this and so sweet, like you almost get like a sugar headache. Yeah. But yeah. I, you cannot get that with this. Oh. This is oh, oh so my god. I, like it. <laughs> I am so intrigued. What do you think is on it? It is <laughs> coffee cake crumble okay. and crushed M and M's with right. chocolate sauce and vanilla icing drizzle. I'm pretty positive. I'm 99 percent sure. I'm really excited. So guys, this yeah. one isn't on the menu, but mm -hmm. this is a build your own. We so can get if you're a sweet tooth, then you know you yeah. can try this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right. What would you do for the? What would you two do for the mm -hmm. build your own? Like, what would you be your go-to? Um, I would do. Well, our build your own also. So it comes with um, one icing of your choice. We have vanilla Delicious. or chocolate, and then um, it comes with one topping and like one finished drizzle. Uh -huh. So. Um, I would probably do a, a vanilla icing with, we have um, caramel cookie crunch crumble, uh, and then our cinnamon dulce mm -hmm. drizzle. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Mm. I would go full chocolate. So yeah. chocolate, <laughs> chocolate yeah. icing, chocolate crumble, yeah. chocolate uh, drizzle. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. This is like, that was quite this a bite. This is in my mouth right yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a crack of pop rocks in there. It's yeah, really good. it's just like exploding with flavor. <laughs> yeah, my taste buds are so excited. It's this so whole, yeah, like this whole palette, fun aspect to yeah. it. Like it's not overpowering with anything. And it works. Yeah, it works. Okay. It works. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like this could almost be a new bun, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Call Abby. Yeah, that is so delicious. I oh my gosh, these were all phenomenal. Oh, like, I'm so glad you like. I'm like so impressed by all of this. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. So. Thank you again to Bree and Jake for joining us today. Uh, you guys have to come and check out uh, Sinbun. It's a phenomenal restaurant. Thank Thanks you so for coming much. in. All right, hungry people, thank you for joining us here at Sinbun. We are so grateful to Jake and Bree for letting us interview them today. And guys, you all have to check out this restaurant. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, you can also just make sure to follow our socials. It's at uh, SU College Eats on Instagram and YouTube, and at College Eats SU on TikTok. So. Stay hungry, people. <laughs>